Hey everybody, Jason here of Ghostbusters News, and earlier this week here on the YouTube channel, we announced plans to release our real Ghostbusters mod for the 2009 Nintendo Wii port of Ghostbusters the video game. And this texture pack, let me tell you, it is a long time coming, as we first showed it off way back in 2020. So you're likely wondering what led to the delay? Well, a server crash that made us believe that the project had been lost forever. But in celebration of the upcoming Ghostbusters Day, yours truly was going over some old hard drives trying to find some lost media. And guess what? I came across that real Ghostbusters project putting an impending release back on track. Now surprisingly, we're not the only Ghostbusters fan that was working on a mod for the 2009 stylized video game. As fellow fan Jonathan Boyce just published a texture pack inspired by Ghostbusters Afterlife. In fact, right now you can see it. We have it up on your screen. And these modified textures, they drastically change the appearance of the Ghostbusters, making them appear much older with all being seen with gray hair, added wrinkles, and darker, visibly worn flight suits. In fact, let's go ahead and get into the game here because there's some pretty cool stuff I need to show you, including the rookie being taken over by Gary Gruberson. Yes, Paul Rudd's character in Ghostbusters Afterlife. You'll see here he has been reskinned, he's got dark hair, he's also got the beard. Now moving our way through the Ghostbusters firehouse, we're going to see some familiar faces. Right here we've got the aged versions of Egon Spangler and Ray Stantz. Egon being seen with the gray hair and also the beard. While Ray can be seen with some added wrinkles and some pretty dominant eyebrows. As well, up here on the second floor of the firehouse, you're going to see Winston Zeddemore. And I mean, come on, Winston Zeddemore, Ernie Hudson, he hardly ages at all. But you can see we do have some added gray on the sides of the hair. Now, of course, since we're in the Ghostbusters firehouse, I gotta try this pole. And as we make our way down here, it's gotta be noted the Ghostbusters are not the only characters that have been changed. As I love the way Janine Melnitz looks here. Of course, being made to resemble kind of what she looked like in Ghostbusters Afterlife. We got the glasses, the lighter hair tone, that overly loud shirt. I just love this. We had Egon, Ray, Winston, of course, there is also Dr. Peter Vankman, the mouth of the Ghostbusters. He's got the gray hair, some very defiant brow lines, and you can see, much like Bill Murray, he is so happy to be here. Now moving along here, we've got one of the biggest stars from Ghostbusters Afterlife, the Ecto-1, with this texture mod making it appear aged and rusted out. Now in addition to what we've already shown you, Jonathan Boyce, once again, the creator of this mod, he's also included some really small bits of detail that I love, including going in and changing the images used on the level select screen. So much like their player counterparts, you can see we've got Egon and Peter here with the gray hair. As well, graphic files have been updated for the rookies. So right here, we've got Gary Gruberson, as well the female rookie, which we're going to show you here in a second. So stay tuned. But let's go ahead and head on over to the Sedgwick and see this mod in action. That disgusting green blob is up on the 12th floor again, wreaking havoc. I demand a refund right now. As you just saw there, the Sedgwick Hotel manager, much like the Ghostbusters, he's also aged. That is such a weird detail that I kind of love. Okay, moving on from there. You're perfectly safe now, Miss. The Ghostbusters are here. Never gonna happen. Uh, Dr. Venkman, I think that lady now is way too young for you. Now once again, I should reiterate this is just a texture pack. The core gameplay is identical to what it was back in 2009, which if you've only played the realistic version of Ghostbusters the video game and never the stylized version, I'd strongly recommend it because while the story is similar, the levels are drastically different. Okay, so moving on here, I was talking about the female rookie a few moments ago, and much like how Gary Gruberson is now in the game, We've also got Trevor's love interest, Lucky, of course, who is played by Celeste O'Connor in the film. Now, I'm sure a lot of you out there, you would have liked to have seen Phoebe, but there's only so much you can do when it's just a texture mod. And, oh, wait, wait, wait a minute. They even aged Walter Peck? Ugh, oh, this brings me so much joy. This texture pack, this mod is fantastic. So, Ghostbuster fans, if you would like to try out this Ghostbusters Afterlife mod, we've got all the details down below in the description. That's all I've got for you here right now. As always, be sure to subscribe to Ghostbusters News here on YouTube. Bust that bell notification icon to stay up to date with everything that's happening within the Ghostbusters world. If you'd like to join up with Ghostbusters News, check out our Patreon page. We have a link to that down below in the description. And I'll see everybody right back here next time.